Hi, and welcome to another episode of George's Corner. I'm your host, George Lee Jones. Thanks for joining me. Today's topic we're going to talk about is fitness. And for, for me, fitness is a lifetime affair, not a one-time event. I'm going to say it again. Fitness for me is a lifetime affair, not a one-time event. I wasn't going to touch this subject for a while, but I've been getting a few emails asking me what's my fitness routine, what do I do, and so I'm going to touch on it just a little bit. First, before I go into it, I want to say the reason I got into fitness was because I started out as an athlete growing up. So I was always active, and that's something that if you have parents out there, make sure your kids get outside and be active, you know, not sitting in the house just playing video games all the time. That's not going to do anything for their physical being. Next, what is fitness to you? I asked that question because as I was thinking about when people were asking me about fitness, I thought about a couple of things. One being the muscle between your ears. Yeah, your brain. How often do you exercise that muscle? Do you read? Do you do equations? Do you do brain teasers? Do you do crossword puzzles? These are all things that keep your mind sharp. And when your mind is sharp, it's not hard for your body to fall in place. So I always like to start with the head first to see what is fitness to you. Are you trying to get fit because you're trying to get into that wedding dress because you're a bridesmaid? Or are you a guy and you're just trying to get fit because you have that clash of union coming up and you want to look good, not necessarily for the women, but so that the fellas don't think you've gotten too fat? <laughs> hey, that's real. I understand all that. But for me, my approach is that I like to... For me, it's, a, it's an overall approach. It's mind, body, and soul. For example, I typically start my day with uh, what I consider a nice breakfast drink. I get myself baby carrots, kale, baby spinach, arugula, sunflower seeds or almonds for protein, and then I add a typically an apple or orange for flavor. I pulverize that all up with distilled water, drink that down. Now, you may say, that's not much, but let's start with baby steps. I'll tell you for a fact, I haven't done anything different with my workout or how I eat, and that's another thing. I still eat fairly healthy. That's one. But I went from, well, I won't say with weight, but I lost about 15 to 20 pounds in about 35 days just by changing one thing, which is getting up in the morning, having my drink before I go for my run. Now, my run typically consists of about two and a half, three miles. That's because I'm cheap and don't want to spend a lot of money on gas. So I run to the gym. I work out with the weights. I run home. So round trip for me is about three and a half miles. Knocks out my cardio and saves me gas. Well, enough about me. For you, I would say fitness is really, to me, a mindset. It should be like you're getting up in the morning brushing your teeth. No one has to tell you to brush your teeth. You know that this is something that you do. It becomes habitual. And that's what you should make fitness and working out. It should be habitual. Something that you do to and for yourself. Cuts down on doctor and medical expenses. You don't have those high cost insurance bills. And let's face it, with today's health care costs, do you really want to be sitting in a doctor's office with a whole bunch of other sick people trying to get well? So I call it preventive care. You know, I watch a lot of friends of mine women in particular, go out and buy the nicest new bags, the trendiest clothing, and then go to McDonald's, and I did I'm knocking McDonald's, and get a Happy Meal. And I say to myself, wait a minute, you invested all this money and time on your raiment or garments that you wear, but then you treat your body like crap. Why would you do that? So, in my estimation, when it comes to fitness, regardless of what kind of fitness or regimented program that you join, just start out making baby steps. First, mentally, get yourself in a place where you say, hey, I want to make a change in my life. Not just for an event, but because I want my life to be better. I want my life to be different. When you do that, that sets off a chain reaction within you like brushing your teeth, combing your hair, showering in the morning. You do it with regularity. It becomes habitual, and now you can't do without it. 
So instead of thinking about when you get off work or you get up in the morning, whichever time you like to work out, it's just something you do. It's not a struggle. It's not something that you have to figure out how to make time for because it's already scheduled in your day. In the beginning, it may be difficult. And I always say this for most people. I know for me, I like having lists that I can cross things off or check boxes and say I'm done. If it takes that for you, do that. Make a list every day of your schedule and put in at least a minimum of 30 minutes of workout time in that day. Now, it doesn't have to be anything difficult or strenuous. You can work your way up to those things. Start off by nothing more than a simple walk. Here's where I say a simple walk. Not only are you burning calories, but it gives you time to decompress from your day. Also gives you time with yourself to decipher the thoughts of what went on in your day. And in that time frame, you can also meditate on things that you want in your life. That is really a good time for you to have your alone time. Now, if you want to have a partner to walk with you, that's great. The more the merrier, conversations. I always say new ideas come in groups. So if you want to do that, that's fine as well. But at least start somewhere. And for the ones that's listening to me right now with that bowl of ice cream, <laughs> that's okay <laughs> if you don't do it every day, okay? And by all means, don't go right to sleep after this because nothing's worse than having that cream sitting in your stomach, okay? But anyway, I digress. Getting back to the fitness, just make a promise to yourself, for yourself, that you're going to do all you can to be all that you can be. And I don't mean joining the army. I mean making yourself physically healthy. I don't mean you have to be the ripped guy or girl with the abs because some of those people are walking around with all kind of other medical ailments due to supplements they're taking that they have no idea that they're a ticking time bomb waiting to have a heart attack or stroke just because of that. What I mean is putting yourself on a nice regimented diet, physical exercise, at least on a consistent level. And to add to that, mentally decompress, have meditation, do what it takes for you to let your day go so that you can get proper sleep and rest in the evening. That gives you overall mind, body, and soul fitness. And with that, we're done. That's all I have to say on that subject today. Again, I'm your host, George Lee Jones. And as I always say, love yourself. Be kind and great to others. And always be learning something new. God bless you, fam. We'll talk soon.